Hey there, and welcome back to the Temple and Oh. Fucking hell, Frog thought. Still a ways to go. It considered the possibility that life was futil futile. Master Frog thought about futility for a while. Then it remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about it, and so it thought about it itself. Doing a little dance. Yeah, do, 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 do. Frog dance. Finally, Master Frog stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. Do, 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 do. Do 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 It did it all. Thought about okay. Yes, light. Master Frog emerged from the jungle and saw a sign of the temple. The temple of no. The monster frog marvelled at its magnificence, probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Pro like that is big anyway. We're not going to get the anywhere just sitting around and here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up. 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 The stairs. We go. And then the temple. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath? Look, do not touch. Master Frog carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. It arrived in a hall, large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Three. That is one plus two. Three doors. <laughs> right? It's selection time, everybody. Uh, I say middle. So Master Frog entered the big old big room. The big old big room. Yeah, I didn't say that right. Okay. Wow. More stairs in here. Let's climb them. Climbing up. 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 Yes. Remember back at the part where this twine game when you picked st Sailor Storm, blah, blah, blah? Yeah, those were good times. Wait, 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 no, a boulder, run away, froggy, run! There is danger, real present danger. Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of this game. Ah! Okay, so not that room. Guess Master Frog will try one of the other doors. Left. Oh, wow, it's Spike Room. Remember Spike Milligan? Nope. Good. Webster's Dictionary defines Spike as a very large nail... Or two, a one of a row po of pointed irons placed as on the, the top of a wall to prevent passage. Or B, one of several metal projections set in the sole of and heel to of to show to in pro. No wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm? I guess we should just turn back around. Anti left. <laughs> Oh, dude, in this room, there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game, Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? Can, can't make snake and twine, can ya? Ha, huh? no, but let's talk to the snakes. Hey, snakes. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure, which I personally don't. Yep. So what... This I was a spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess. So no doors lead to the right path. Can no door truly bring us to what we want in life? The deep questions, the deep philosophical questions in life. Is that Skull of Steve? Skull of Steve. Perhaps this is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and still never find what you're looking for. Wow. Makes you think, eh? Makes you think. Thinking, thinking, thinking. The end. Oh, wait! There was another door over there! To the right! <laughs> the throne room entrance! Let's do it! Master Frog entered the door and found... The Great Leader's Chamber! The Great Leader's Chamber on the seat was... The Great Leader! His voice echoed through the room. If you... Salesman, you know, I sold, um, you know, 
What? Love it. Looking at you, you you seem to have come along well well you know, I, I won't presume to, to ask you about yourself, but yeah, you know, so um yeah, n- nice to meet you. Name's Keith. Um <laughs> glad you could glad you could find hey, Max. The, the place, okay. Um, I know it is a bit of a well not a bloody trek, but you know, I don't want to think of really sizes of things. Uh, six and seven uh, size shoes and then then they're nice and my shoe shape. Okay. Master Frog listened, and listened some more, and proceeded to ask for the map. This angered the great leader, so Master Frog decided to kill him. But little did it know, in killing the great leader, it would become the great leader and violate the explorer's oath. No! How could Master Frog have forgot the oath? It was Trey's important. Important? Important? It was. I don't know what Trey's means. Probably it was very. I don't know. Now, as its new great leader, Loyalists approached it, ready to worship it as, as their new god. Frog had decided right there, right now, if it would break vows and totally be just be a cool ruler or grab the map and escape back to Civilization V cool ruler and that's what it did that's what master frog did or should i say that's what i did oh my god you're master frog that's what i did that's right fools i'm old master frog and that shit happened to me (laughs) i don't know what lessons i learned or if i learned lessons at all but i got the map i got it and it gives me many pieces of insight and because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom i will give you i will tell you one piece right now the wisdom is have you ever actually played a good game made in twine like one that's actually good not just good for a twine game that's it the end now i have i am already in your secret email club crows crows and crows got get your emails every once in a while but i loved that game that was great I wasn't sure what a twine game was at first. I was like, what the heck's a twine game? But when I clicked on it, this opened like this. And I'm like, huh, it's one of these things. But I loved it. It was fun and made me laugh. Like, I mean, a lot of people won't like it because it's not interactive enough. You just kind of click things. But this is a story. Same thing with like a point and click. Not point and click, a, um... I, I really like um the uh, typing ones, the typing games. Oh, not typing games. Uh, text adventures. Yeah, I really like those too, but this was fun. Maybe I should try playing text adventure on this channel sometime. But that is all, and I will see you in the...